Hi guys, welcome back to one of my classes. In this class, I'll show you how to create a Voronoi candle holder. The inspiration for this project comes from geometry and light. I'll tell you now something more about what is a Voronoi. A Voronoi is a special geometric configuration created using a set of random points called seeds. For each of these seeds, there is a corresponding region consisting in all the points closer to that seed than to any other. This mathematical relationship allows to create random configurations of points that create a cracked effect which is pretty impressive while used with light and transparencies, like in this case. So now, let's get started with this new tutorial. Step 1. Creation of the base of the candle holder. Let's start creating the base. To do it, drag into the workspace a box and resize it, making it 50 mm by 50 and 5 mm thick. This will be our base. Now we can put the base in a corner and start creating the walls of our candle holder. Step 2. Creation of the Voronoi wall. For the wall of our candle holder, we are going to create a thin wall using the box tool. Drag a box into the workspace and resize it, making it 50 mm, which is the same dimension of the side of the base, by 70 mm, which is the height of the candle holder, by 1 mm of thickness, which is thin enough to have transparency with light. To this thin wall now we are going to apply a second layer, made with the Voronoi. Go to the feature shape generator and drag into the workspace the Voronoi. As you can see, it has some settings that you can play with to define the shape. Use the randomizer to create new combination of cells. And play with the other settings to define number of cells, space between cells and thickness. In this case, we set the thickness at 1 mm. In this way, we will have different thicknesses that will have different effect of transparency with the candle light inside the candle holder. Rotate the Voronoi and apply to the first surface we created, making sure to merge the volumes. Align it with the front edge using the Align tool and then group the wall with the base together. Step 3. Repeat. Repeat the same operation we just did to create the second wall of the candle holder. Randomize the shape and the number of cells of the Voronoi to create variety on each wall. In this way, your candle holder will be more particular and original. Create the other two walls of the candle holder and apply them to the base, aligning them to each edge like we did before. Make sure to have the Voronoi pattern outside of on each wall. Step 4. Export your STL file. Now that your candle holder is ready, you only have to export your STL file to be able to print your design. You don't need to save your design because Tinkercad does it automatically. Now select your 3D model and select Export in the top right part of the user interface. Select STL as format for your download and automatically the download starts. Now you can print your cool Voronoi candle holder and create some great atmosphere at home. Don't forget to share your designs with the community, uploading your files on your profile on kirakira.com.